from the Boston Museum of Science, SciTech Today on NECN. Scientists from down under are using tiny drug delivery packages derived from salmonella to destroy cancer cells in mice. Joining us now from the Gordon Current Science and Technology Center at Boston Museum of Science is Alex Ferentino. Good morning, Alex. Morning, Latoya. Okay, so why would anyone use a deadly bacteria like salmonella to treat cancer patients? Uh, well, that's a good question. It, it seems like kind of a weird thing to do, right? Because salmonella cells, most of us know, as a cause of deadly foodborne illness. But the researchers aren't using a whole salmonella cell. They're actually using what they call mini-cells. These are tiny, non-living fragments of the bacterial cells. And to make these things, they start with a special mutant strain of salmonella. Um, and in this particular mutant strain, the, the bacterial cell membrane spontaneously pinches off to form all these little tiny nano-sized pouches. Um, and, and so, although these pouches are derived from the bacteria, they actually seem to be pretty harmless. Okay, so many cells are safe, we get that, but what makes them helpful in attacking cancer? Uh, well, believe it or not, we can actually use these little tiny mini cells as pouches for delivering drugs to, to tumors. Um, so let's imagine again that this little ball is our mini cell. The scientists can fill the inside of the mini cell with an anti-cancer drug. So in this case, this pink candy is our anti-cancer drug. Um, and then they, they purify the mini cell and they coat it with special molecules that actually allow the mini cell to bind to receptors on the surface of your cancer cell. So it's, it's kind of a lock and key situation, as you can see here. And the beauty of this lock and key system is that you don't have to flood the whole body with anti-cancer drugs. They only attach to your cancer cells. So how do the drugs exactly uh, get from the mini cell to the cancer cell? Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked because actually I have a quick animation that we put together at the museum that should show just how this works. Here, we see a sketch of a cancer cell with its nucleus inside. Now, an engineered mini-cell comes in loaded with an anti-cancer drug. It binds to the receptors on the cancer cell. The cancer cell engulfs the mini-cell. The drug is released and attacks the DNA in the nucleus, killing the cancer cell. But a big problem is that some cancer cells can produce a type of RNA molecule that acts as a defense against the anti-cancer drug. The drug still gets inside, but is blocked from attacking the nucleus. So the researchers added a new offense. They load the mini cells with interfering RNA that knocks out the cancer cells defending RNA. Then they send in a new wave of mini cells loaded with the anti cancer drug. And now the drug is able to get the job done. So, as you can see, this two step process worked really well at killing drug resistant cancer cells. Well, enough, in fact, that it made the cover of the journal Nature Biotechnology. But this was in mice. The real test begins next month in Australia, where the mini-cell treatment will be tested in human cancer patients. So we could find out within a few years whether we have an effective new treatment for cancer. All right, Alex. Well, that was very, very interesting stuff. Alex Ferentino from the Museum of Science, thank you so much for joining us today. Th thank you for having me, Latoya. All right. Join us every Thursday morning at this time for SciTech Today, or log on to the Museum of Science website, mos.org.